You can see they've cut it back and it's is making. That is? I have no clue. It's a European fan pack. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it looks like this one might be silver, so maybe this is the Moroccan. You think this is 50 years? Know. You think this is 50 years old? Because this looks like the... Now, they just automatically make trunks beside each other? No, some of them make trunks and some of them don't. Here, look at this. Beautiful. Uh, falling over. Be careful. I love how beautiful that is. Wow. That's the Windermere. The Trachycarpus latissectus. What a beauty. Isn't that nice? Look at the... Isn't that something? Look at the color on it. I had some of these, but they all froze to death. No, uh, I, look, look what protected it, the wall. Yeah. Little microclimate. They can't take seven. <clears throat> this wall saved it. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Unbelievable. Yeah. Look at uh, They got some satsumas. Yeah. You got satsumas with citrus being in all those. Yeah, real out. bad. <clears throat> they need some of that citrus mineral. Here's, this is one of those Indian baits I was telling you about. Wow! Yeah. Yo! Yeah. Do you know if this one makes fruit? Or yeah, male a... and female, so you gotta have both. Oh man. Yeah. I wonder what this one is. Probably a male. Male. It'd have some fruit, because there's other trees in town. Wow! Isn't that beautiful? It'd be nice if they had two of them beside each other, male and female. You know what's behind it? No, I don't. That's Everglades poem. Whoa! I can't. I don't even recognize it. Yeah. Mine's so small. Yeah. It's actually pretty looking. So it literally from one plant it makes all these pups. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they they cluster. So I got to be careful with mine. Yeah. See, so he's making seeds too. Sure is. It's gorgeous. Isn't that something? So these are all through Florida. No, they these are no, they really are only native to the Everglades, extreme southeast, south and southeastern Florida. So does that mean they like a lot of a lot of wet water? They do, but they'll grow up here on top of the hill. But this one, th this clump, went through that um, for 13. They had 13 degrees here on the farm in 2010. When it wow. Was so this would probably do better at a lower land? You know, people say that these things are only cold hardy to 23, but I, I, I mean, mine went through seven. And was fun. Yeah. I don't understand. They must vary. I don't get it. It's like every seed you do. Like the, you know how you talked about the tamarinds? Out of the out of a few, you'll have one that's super cold tolerance. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I planted twenty and I got three that survived. I planted a lot of black sapote and out of the fifteen, one survived. Yeah, and they were all the same size, so there was some cold tolerance. To that's it. what I always used to do with the seeds. I'd plant a hundred <laughs> or a thousand and whatever survived. That's you what just I'd like that one, kind of like the the, the catli guava you did. Yeah. That's smart. And but I so what I did this was like back in the nineties. As I went, I drove up um, like 17 through Central Florida, and this was right after that bad freeze in 1989. And I was looking for anything cold hardy, and I found um, re really far north of, uh, of Orlando, I found a, a stand of these that looked like the trunks never froze. Wow. And it was like 17 degrees then, or something like that in Central Florida in 89. So I got some seeds from them and planted them at the farm. And I, you know, out of the hundreds of seeds, I planted like 100, maybe 30, probably more like 30 or 50 survive. Do you still have them alive now? I got like 10 left that I didn't, and I traded them to all my palm friends. Nobody else cares about them yeah. except people like me and you that are into it. Yes, yeah, so I wish more people were into it. So I tried to find a cold hardy version. But these, I don't. I don't know where they got these. Like, I don't have anything to do with it. They were here when mm -mm. I was Already in here. Wow. A million years ago. So, do you know if they've been cutting these back or they just grow this slow? No, they, I think, you know, sometimes they'll use, they'll use, they'll lose a trunk from cold. Oh, so the trunk just dies back? Right. <laughs> see that? Oh, yeah, I see you. Yeah. It kind of just makes new ones. They, they pop right back. So I seen that like grow pretty but, quick then. But now these were a lot shorter in 2010. But I came here in the spring, and some of the some of the trunks were frozen and didn't recover, but some of the trunks did. So. Interesting. Yeah. Nice root ball in here.